Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. One school in the Middle East conducted a social experiment highlighting the negative effects of verbal bullying. They got two big plants and placed them near the school entrance. Same kind of plants. They asked students to appreciate one plant with many positive words and the other plant was verbally bullied with hateful comments and criticism. Students also recorded their voice to share their love with the first plant and give words of criticism to the second one. As the weeks passed, I started noticing that the one that was being bullied uh, started kind of to droop. While the plant that was being complimented, it was, it was flourishing and beautiful. After 30 days, the appreciated plant continued to thrive and the bullied plant was visibly struggling and became dull and lifeless. Both plants were treated in the same way with the same amount of water, sunlight, fertilizer, all those things were same. The only difference was the emotion passed to the plant. Words of criticism to one plant and words of encouragement to the other for 30 days. With the effects of plant, it can definitely affect other people. If it can affect plants, it can definitely affect people. Negative energy can really mess things up. We all have experiences, right? Toxic people draining our energy. And there are many studies, research and experiments on this, like how positive or negative energy can influence the world around us. The famous one, of course, is from the Japanese scientist Masura Emoto. He demonstrated how our thoughts, words, intentions and emotions can change the structure of water. His book, The Hidden Messages in Water, is a New York Times bestseller. When exposed to positive speech and thoughts, the water created visually pleasing ice crystals. And negative thoughts and intentions yielded ugly ice formations. He used microscopic photography to capture this. You know, 70% of our body is made up of water and the same effect is happening inside us when we are exposed to negative words or emotions. I think this is the same principle behind curses and blessings. They did similar experiment with rice, cooked rice in four different jars, four different labels. The jar of rice with which received love and gratitude was fresher than the one that got constant criticism and the one which got, got ignored was the worst. In our culture, the in most religious places, we offer food to God, right? Prasadam. It's tastier because it's charged with love and gratitude. There are seed experiments like this. Seeds exposed to gratitude grew 10 times, 10x faster than those without. There are many experiments with music, chants, mantras. There's one where they played Lalita Sahasra Namam and just by listening to it, listeners' brain waves got changed. These ancient chants and sounds are engineered by great minds who understood these things. And if you're not convinced, you can do your own experiment and, and see the magic. When it comes to our lives, our thoughts, words and emotions will have a positive or negative impact on ourselves and people around us. Google did an interesting experiment, uh, not experiment, a study on these lines. It's called Project Aristotle. The goal of Project Aristotle was to identify the key factors that contribute to the success of teams at Google. The project was named after Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher and his famous quote, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. The project was led by a team of researchers from Google's People Innovation Lab. They spent two years studying 180 teams around the globe to figure out the answer to one question. What makes a team effective at Google? Our lot of data analysis, and they're known for it, they came up with five factors that contribute to team success. And you know, what was the number one factor? Psychological safety. When there is psychological safety at workplace, people feel comfortable bringing their full authentic selves to work and they're more productive and happy. People respond or react based on how safe they feel in an, in an environment. So we create an environment, safe environment, through our positive thoughts, words and actions. 
we are creating a safe environment by trusting each other by appreciating each other by respecting each other by caring for each other psychological safety is an important concept in parenting as well you now do our children feel safe to open up and talk to us are they comfortable expressing themselves sharing their thoughts and feelings to us if there is fear of judgment sarcasm no retaliation or any of those things they will stop sharing things with us creating a safe and positive environment at home at work and uh, everywhere it's very critical for uh, people to thrive our positive or negative energy can influence the world around us when aristotle said the whole is greater than the sum of its parts it has a bigger meaning you know, there is something called collective consciousness and you know, we are influencing each other knowingly or unknowingly so we have to be mindful whether it is planned or people they flourish in a positive environment and perish in a negative environment so let us do our part in creating an environment where people can thrive thank you so much for watching i am srijit krishnan stay happy stay healthy